Hey guys, this is that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is my second unboxing of three for the day. I just did all the contour cases. Uh, thank you to Contour. And I'll be coming up with a review unit, one of those, probably one to two every day because I do. It's going to take me a good week to get through that. Our next one, shoot, is my address in here? Yeah, i got to cut this out. Hold on. The packaging list. I'm just going to tear this out really quickly. There we go. Okay. Uh, this one's a bigger one, you know. We're going to throw this back again like we did before. And uh, hopefully that does it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. We're going to start it there. Okay, now this one is from my view. Um, ordered one of these. And uh, they're looking pretty dang good. Um, thank you to my view for sending this out. Uh, there's tons of bubble wrap. If anyone wants to pop it, give me a send me an email and I'll send it to you. I'm just um, and here it is, guys. The my view crystal. Now, you're probably thinking, whoa, what is that? That is not for iPhone. Well, that's where you're kind of a little bit wrong. It is. Uh, it's not, well, it's an accessory, you know? It's not a case, it's a little bit different than other things I've done before. This is more of a Richard Solo kind of product, you know? I mean, good product, or so it seems, but not your usual. Okay, now this one does look like a return product because the sticker, the label has been, but you know, that's fine, I don't care. It was given to me by uh, my view, so totally fine with that. Pull this open right here. And uh, that's probably the physical unit, or the unit. That's all the connection cables, and here's the directions. So you're thinking, what is the my view? Uh, this is a pair of glasses. Uh, you throw them on your head, and you can see what's being to displayed to you through your iPhone or iPod, okay? Now, I don't actually have my iPhone, so I'm gonna go run and get my iPod really quick here. And uh, I'm glad I got these because look how beat up that iPod is. I will definitely not be looking at movies on that. This is beat up and I mean, I just kinda trashed it. It's before I really appreciated or respected uh, covering your stuff and uh, being careful with everything before I became anal retentive about my electronics. So, I'm gonna throw this open right here. And uh, that's it, there's only one cable in there. It's bubble wrapped, everything's nice and good, good and dandy. Um, here it looks like the adapter to view your iPod goes in from the bottom and then uh, into the headphone jack in the top for the three pin looking jack and then here's another one and that is a U mini USB cable and I believe that's to charge the physical headset so great here it is the crystal viewer in black not the amber one darn it no I'm just kidding I didn't like the look of the amber one so I'm glad they sent me a black but uh, here we go take this Pull it out, and now there's only a little silica gel packet in there. And uh, it has this nice microfiber viewing case. I pull this open. Now this one is a bit of an investment. You know, this isn't the cheapest electronic out there. The MyView Crystal runs at $299.95, so $300. But uh, I'm hoping I can tell you that, man, this is a good headset. Go get one. Um, it is worth $300. I don't know, you know, so that's why I'm here. That's why I'm reviewing um, These are the little earbud attachments that are made from uh, shoot. I always forget the name uh, I don't know they're supposed to be good earphones though earbuds, which is good So here they are they're the glasses, you know, it does look a little bit cordy already I mean there's some cords hanging out the side. There's your ear put earbud pieces, so uh, I mean It's a little bit in between your head, so that's where it is. And uh, let's 
let's see here. Uh, do I want to untwist this? I don't really know. This is the control unit, so on, off, up and down. Uh, good, good. I don't know if they're charged. They're probably not. So I can't show them to you right now, I don't believe. But uh, from what I understand, this is a little lanyard. You can separate that or you can throw it back together. It's actually magnetic. Would you look at that? So that's neat. Uh, here's the physical device. There's a blue flashing light, so that may mean standby. Or that's the error. Uh, a video device is not connected. So we're going to fix that. We're going to stick this part in right here. This bottom part, I'm guessing, is where that goes. And uh, we're going to throw it into my iPod here. Goes in nice. I mean, there's no connector, there's no hooks. It just goes in and out. All right. I'm assuming we have to do a video out on this, so I apologize. My screen is so darn bright, and uh, so you won't be able to see much of anything. But we'll go to videos. Do I even have any? I don't even know anymore. I don't have any videos. Shoot. Okay, uh, stay right here, but I will be right back. I'm going to go run and get my brother's iPod. Stay. Okay, guys, this is That Snaz, the iPhone guy. I'm back. And uh, I've read up a little. I mean, I don't have my iPod from my brother. that I couldn't find it, but I got something better for you. I got my iPhone right here. So we are going to confirm if it works with the iPhone. I'm gonna throw it in right here. Plug in. We are going to press play. And there's no video moving, but I see the screens back there illuminated. This blue light is confirming that it's good, it's on. That little yellow light means it's flashing or it's low on battery, so we'll make this quick. Um, as you look through here, uh, we're going to close this just to try this out. Um, you can see that that is the music video, in fact. Um, it's a little screen. I mean, it's not huge. It's not, it's definitely not a full radius. Sticking it on my eyes, I can tell you that it's not, it's not 180 degrees, you know, but it is a pretty good little decent size screen. The screen is 4 by 6, it's not 16 by 9, but it looks good. When they're on your eyes in the right position, they look good. Um, they're a little odd, they're a little heavy, you know, it's kind of hard to stick on there, but uh, the sound is pretty good. It's a little bit tinny, but not bad. I mean, I'm pretty satisfied with the sound. And uh, if you use the bridge support on the eye, on the earphone or on the phone, my nose is just so fat. But it actually works pretty good. Um, looks great. Great picture. Like the honestly, the look of it. Uh, the physical screen looks awesome. It does look like you're in a movie theater. Uh, I mean, it doesn't full, fill the full radius of your eye, but it does definitely feel like you're looking at a big screen, which is cool. Uh, you can see a little bit of your outside surroundings, which is a little bit of a downer, but uh, not bad by any means. And obviously, when you stick it together, it creates one solid picture. Uh, there are two screens in each eye located here and here. Uh, in terms of the control panel, right here, there's the audio up, audio down, there's brightness settings, and then there's contrast settings. I set it to the way I like, but there you go. It's just playing right through there. If my video had iPod, I'd show you, or my video iPod had video on it, I would show you. I'm going to throw it on there so I can show you my final review. This is just the unboxing of the MyView Crystal. Turn off. And uh, that's about it, guys. $300, $299.95 at MyView.com. Little bit of an investment, but so far, I mean, they look pretty decent. I'll come back here. Uh, in the next few days with a final full in end review. But until then, as always, stay snazzy. See you later, guys.